Wicked Bradley. Ah, we're about to bake cake. Jello cake, to be exact. I'm sure you guys how to do this. Heated actually, I just cooked a pizza. So, put it on the counter. This is cooking with Wicked Bradley. And uh, I like to take shortcuts, but uh, not if it's going to affect the taste of the food. I don't do that. I, I, I really don't. Am I wrong? Sam, tell him. My food's good, right? He talks to me. He tells me what's up. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. Cake mix open. One cup of water. says exactly half a cup holy shit perfect okay so one cup water one cup half a cup one cup water half cup melted butter it says you would oil so hopefully everything will work all right three eggs three eggs Fucking eggs. All right. Uh, I always like to add the wet mixture. The wet. If you put the, if you put the wet mixture in first, then the dry just slowly add and it mixes. It mixes a lot better if you do it like that. It really does. And I just I can't. I didn't. I thought I was out of sprinkles, so this is good. We're gonna have a good little kick here. All right, so now we just need to do that. Let's see. Three eggs. That's what it calls for. Once three eggs, I'm gonna get three eggs. Now the powder 
comes in. You need a good mixer. It's a perfect good mixer right here. This guy. That's way better. I'd rather not even use a whisk. I don't want a whisk. Okay, I lied. I do want a whisk. I want this one. This one's my favorite. whisk up uh, one cup water, half a cup of melted butter, or half a cup of vegetable oil, and three eggs. And we're going to get the consistency. It's going to look like this. blended together quite, quite well. Now we're going to add the powder. Now when you do this, if you cut that bag wrong, like I did, see that? There's still a pocket over here, there's still a pocket right there. It's common sense to cut that out. That way, you have a little, little, little pour spout. You got a little pour spout right there. All right, sprinkle in just a little bit, not even half, not even half. Okay, that's not even half. I'm gonna mix that. Mix it, mix it. I'm cooking them, cooking them, whipping them, whipping them. I'm the subject of letting it lock up. It's thicker, of course. Common sense. And some more. Not even half. Alright. Same process. good consistency here the butter everything's blending when you get when you're making a cake if you're making a freaking cake if you're making a cake and you just get everything and you just throw it all in the bowl at once it's gonna you're it makes no sense okay so now we're about halfway through I'm gonna pour three quarters see I'm not even pulling the, pouring the whole half in here Samson, what's the problem, buddy? Alright, so we're gonna whisk this up. By the way, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning right now. But I got the day off tomorrow. Just figured I'd bake a cake. Kind of chill out, play some video games, even though I'm a grown man. I know it sounds stupid, but hang out with the dog, hang out with Grandpa. Might go play some golf tomorrow, I'm not sure. Okay, so anyways, the rest of it. Right now, for the rest of it. Like that, ladies and gentlemen. Now look, how, long, how much longer did that, how much longer did that, that actually take? It took, what, seven minutes more? Okay, it took seven minutes more to mix it. Instead of throwing it all in a bowl, and then you're sitting there clumping it together and rubbing it. Ah, mess. So here we go. Last little bit. This is an amazing cake. 
My sister, Ashley, taught me how to do this. She also taught me how to uh, not wash chicken with soap, if you believe that or not. It's a true story. That is a perfect blend. That is a perfect blend. See that? That's a perfect blend. Alright, next, next step. Next step. Pour it in, pour it in a damn pan. That's the next step. And we're gonna bake it for 350. Twenty nine minutes. All right. Non stick pan. I'm going to put a little butter in this. Just a little bit of butter because I don't have any vegetable. And I'm put a little butter in this. Samson, what are you doing? What are you grabbing for? Are you kidding me? Or did I do that? I know I didn't. Did I drop that? Hey, leave it. Hey, booby. What are you doing? You're not going to eat the whisk. How did this fall? It's on camera, so we got to figure that out because my dog just went to look for it. Okay, so how, what we're going to do is we're going to open this up, stick butter, and we're just going to rub it around in this pan a little bit. Corn it all the corners because the cake is going to be at least four and a half inches high and once it comes out you want it to flip this pan completely over so that you can frost it because once you put the jello in it you you gotta you'll see this is called jello cake this is a jello cake. And it's pretty badass. It's a really, really, really good damn cake. My sister taught me, so I gotta throw that out there again. Anyways, okay, so here goes the batter. I need my uh spatula. I need my rubber spatula. Where's my rubber spatula? sure we went up to the rim that way when you get this cake out it comes out you don't want it to stick or you're, the whole job screwed all right now the batter is going in to the pan this rubber spatula that I have is one of the best tools for cooking I mean, you can get every crook and cranny in that motherfucker. Excuse my language. I'm sorry. I don't mean to curse. Yeah, look how clean. I, it almost looks like a dog licked it. So there we go. Put the batter in there. It almost looks like a dog licked it. Look at that. Look how clean that is. There's nothing in there. It's almost completely, it's almost like a, it's almost like a, dang, and this is good too. It's almost like some sort of uh, pit bull terrier licked it out. 
Looks like there's a couple sprinkles in there too from the batter. Hmm. Looks like a dog looked this out. Kind of weird, right? That a dog would uh look, look at this clean. There you go. Good boy, Samson. Good boy. Back to the matter of task. Sorry about that. Anyway, okay, so where are we at? Oh yeah. Cookies. Substitution. Beat. Can't be Bake 350 following the baking times. Two nine inch rounds. Two. 13 by 9. It's 13 by 9. 34 to 38 minutes. So we're going to go for 30 minutes. Yep. We're going to go for 30 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. 30 minutes sounds pretty legit to me. 30 minutes and then we gotta get this jello going. Alright, so we're gonna turn on the front eye. Get this heated up. We can get rid of this now. thing on known on God's green planets. Let's cooking this. gelatin mix, stir two minutes until completely dissolved, stir in cold water, refrigerate four hours until firm. But what we're going to do is let this water heat up. We're going to add this. And then we're going to add the one cup cold water. Trust me, you'll see. There, there's a method to my madness, I promise you. And it's going to heat up quick, too, because it's on hot. I don't want to turn I don't want to turn the fan on because it's too loud. And won't hear me. Okay, so let's recap. What have we done so far? We have added three eggs, half a cup of melted butter, the cake mix, and um, we buttered the pan with this guy. Just opened it and smeared it around. We added three eggs, of course. If I already said that or not, I don't know. Uh, now we're cooking. We got that in the pan with this. It's the best tool to use, no matter what. I don't care what anybody says. The spatula is the best. And then, get a pack of Jello. Now we're heating it up. As soon as it starts boiling, we're going to add a cup of cold water in. And then, at that time, we're baking the cake for 24 to 28 minutes. Which is a hell of a time. 
but once this boils, I'll show you guys. And uh, once the cake's once the cake's done, I'll show you guys. So just wait it out. We got uh, 28 minutes, something like that. It's crazy. I wish I was on live so people could comment and shit. I guess I can't do that. I don't know how. Anyway. This should start boiling any minute. Oh, there we go. There she comes. 